Hello everybody and welcome back to FTB Inventions. Now, let's start off on a little bit of a serious note, okay? Uh, my videos, in my own personal opinion, and maybe some of yours, have not been up to what I consider acrylic quality. Um, and a lot of that is my fault. Pretty much all of it's my fault. Uh, due to a lack of creativity and busyness and stuff like that. And I apologize for that to begin with. I'm not going to say I'm sorry, but I do apologize for not being a little bit better with the content and this and that. Um, when I started this base here in FTP Inventions, I had a great idea, or at least I felt like I did at the time. Um, I've lost that passion for that idea. And I've kind of, I'm loving the pack. Don't get me wrong, the pack is amazing. I love the equivalent exchange and the ability to just do so many different things. But I think I need to you know, get a new idea. We need a new idea, and I've come up with one that kind of struck me while I was making a tuna sandwich today. Yes, that's right, a tuna sandwich. And uh, I think I've come up with a little bit of an idea that should work out decently well for us as well. Um, by the way, I had to do a quick little repair. We weren't getting enough power down to our grinders, so I had to upgrade it all to the better power conduits. Um, so some of them are straggling behind and all that kind of stuff. But we do have a ton of blaze rods and all that kind of stuff, which we need to address and fix here first and foremost. Um, so there's a couple things. We are going to be doing some building on camera for one. And I hope to uh, at least get the start of the idea worked on today. And I don't know if this is in there, is it? No, it's not. Okay, good. All right, well, not good, but I understand. So first things first, I want to upgrade a few things. Um, as you can see, I've prepared a few items here. Uh, we have the macerator ready to go, which is fantastic. Um, so that guy we can use to make our blaze powder and get a whole bunch of that going. Um, we're definitely going to build that. It was pretty easy to do. Nothing too crazy there. Pretty straightforward. But we're going to get the macerator and get the achievement. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And then the other thing here is the flux-infused obsidian rods. Now those I want to make... Is that what I wanted? No, that's not what I wanted. What did I want again? This. No. Wait. Is it this? What is it again? Oh, God. I want the uh, wrench. This guy right here. The flux-infused omni... Oh, no. That's... Okay. No. I did want the shovel, but I don't want the shovel anymore. Uh, now that I think about it, I really don't. Um, so let's upgrade to the wrench, which means I need one more... One more piece. Okay. No way for me to just do one, hey? Okay, so we need four of these and four Electrum Dust. Uh, I'll get these up and running, or two, sorry, two Electrum Dust. Pretty straightforward. We'll get that crafted up and ready to go. Um, so, our idea is quite a bit different, and we're moving out of the desert. Now, some of you might be upset about that. Some of you might not be. Um, I hope that it doesn't really matter. Um, to you guys too much because as long as I have an idea and a passion I hope that the quality will come out in the long run for for you guys for the viewers and for my own enjoyment for that matter okay flux infused omni wrench great awesome love it love it uh, we're gonna charge that guy up which means we can kind of get rid of the crescent hammer now, the reason I upgraded this is I'm hoping, I don't know if it's true in this pack, um, but I am definitely hoping that all of the uh, industrial craft things can be removed with this wrench uh, because they used to be able to. So hopefully even the Tech Reborn stuff can as well. I'm not positive on that, but we'll find out as we go to move stuff uh, to its new area and new location, which I haven't built yet. <coughs> so, um, we do have an issue over here with the blaze rods. And 
we need to fix that issue. Now I could upgrade the barrel more. It's pretty easy just pulling out EMC and all that kind of stuff. But instead what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade it just in general to a whole new system. And I think the way that we're going to do that is we're going to upgrade it to a deep storage unit. And deep storage units aren't too, too bad. They're, they're decently expensive, but they're not... They're not insanely expensive or anything like that. So deep storage unit right here. We need some plastic sheets, reinforced trunk boxes, and then we need the resonant energy shell frame. Now all of these things have no exchange value, so you can't do that. Um, does the deep storage unit? Doesn't. Okay, we'll have to make these no matter what. So we need a bit more electrum and a diamond. All right, we can, we can do that technology and a diamond. Snowshock join the game. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, slash lots of people on. Most on unstable, and that's a whole different topic. I need to figure that one out myself. Uh, okay, let's do that. What was that? Hold on. Weather crystal. Oh, all right. And a little bit of fused quartz will give us the redstone energy frame. And then we'll lap it with some enderium. That's going to give us our resonant energy frame, which we can throw in there and get our deep storage unit. Awesome. Okay. So now the next step. Also, I upgraded my bag in case you guys didn't see that. Uh, lots more storage for all of our things. So we're just going to remove that guy. And... Hmm, you know what? I'm going to place it down like this first. And we're going to put it in there and lock it to the blaze rods themselves. Can we just... No, we, I think we can just pickaxe it, can't we? Oh god, not F1. One. Thank you. Oh no, no. <sighs> really? Really? Okay, blaze rods. Good, and go. So now it should store all of the blaze rods in the deep storage unit, which is going to be very helpful because we are continually getting more and more. Um, also, that means that I can break these and throw them in the deep storage unit themselves. It's going to take a little bit. Maybe I should have done it a better way. I think I will for the next one. Yeah, I think we'll just do this instead. How does this sound? We'll just uh, extract. There we go should find its home um, okay so I'm going to basically put in all of these blaze rods get them all set up for storage and all that kind of stuff we need to get rid of these other barrels because they're getting in the way okay good and uh, that should at least help us for now until we actually end up moving all of this system around or changing things as we go along into the new base and new location. So let me get a couple other things ready and we will start expanding and uh, working on the new base. All right, so we're back here, and I've gotten a few things prepared, mostly building materials. Yeah, that's right, building materials. So we've gone with some woolen clay and some stained glass. Now, the reason I'm doing this is, okay, let's first discuss uh, where we are building. So right over here, I don't know if you guys knew this, but there is an ocean monument or ocean temple right there. And I'm thinking... You know what? Let's use that to our advantage a little bit. And instead of, you know, taking it over or anything like that, we're going to build under the ocean. Indeed, we're doing an underwater base. Are you excited yet? I hope you are. Because it's going to take a lot of work. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I want this to be. So that's our base right there. We have the ocean monument here. And I'm hoping that we can take advantage of that a little bit. But this nice little bay area here seems like the perfect place for us to start our access into the underwater base. So uh, let's figure that out. I think I'm just going to place down some blocks and we'll see where we go. Um, how deep does this go? Okay. All right. I'm just going to place down the glass. Uh-huh. I'm so going to die. I'm going to die. This is going to, this is going to end. This is not going to go well. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Never mind. We got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Okay. 
Awesome. All right, so there is some of our lime stained glass. Now, I do want to break that one, and we do need to go all four around the sides and everything like that. So I'm going to proceed to get this thing going. Yeah, we're right there. Mm -hmm. I really need, you know what? Maybe we'll get some like aqua affinity and respiration on a helmet or something. That might be very useful for what we're doing here. Um, but the plan is, so we're gonna have the stained uh, glass down below like that. And then on the outside here, we are going to be building a little structure just a little tiny structure, nothing too crazy or anything like that. Just a little guy. And you guys will know what it is as soon as I build it, for sure. But this kind of coloring is pretty much what I'm looking for uh, in this exact build uh, or this exact thing. So um, let's just cruise on back here. Mm -hmm. Hang glider for the win. Hang glider for the win. All right, here we go. All the way back to base. Good. All right. We can get that. I'm going to just sleep off the nighttime because that's annoying. And let me get the stuff that I need for, you know, us to get something. Maybe we'll get like a better helmet too while we're at it. So let me get the stuff that I need for that. Uh, I'll probably just make it off camera and then we'll go right back to the building because I need respiration and aqua infinity. All right, so I've made myself a dark helm and I've fully powered it up with all the capacitors and whatnot. And we're just going to give it a charge here. Now, I want to get night vision on this thing as well as the other two items as well. Um, so the things like the uh, uh, respiration and aqua affinity. Now, for us to get the night vision though, we need a potion of night vision. And we don't really have a way of making that, so we're going to start away just with a quick brewing stand here. We can easily get ourselves some glass bottles. One, two, three. That should more than suffice. We'll do this. Three of those. Good. And boom, boom, boom. Okay, now we need to make them into potions. Obviously, this is pretty much vanilla stuff. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, so we're just going to do nether wart. Is that not what it is? Oh, yeah. And we need the blaze powder. I forgot all about that now. That's the new thing with brewing, right? Isn't it? Can you not... You can't shift click that in there, really? Yeah, it kind of heats it up so that you can brew it. Yeah, yeah, the more you know, right? Now, night vision is pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy there. It's just a golden carrot. So let's get ourselves a carrot. Boom. Let's get ourselves some gold nuggets. We need eight of them. Gold. Why don't I have gold nuggets in here? I have eight right there. Who needs gold nuggets? There we go. Got it. Okay, golden nuggets, excellent, and boom. Now this does last quite a bit. I think the one blaze powder does last for quite a while um, in this process, but you know, one of those things. Um, so let's get this. This will give us our night vision. The other two, I don't think we really care about, but we can also set these up with equivalent exchange. Look at that. How is the longer duration one cheaper energy? What? Okay, so we need one of these. Good. I want to take out another one just so that we can teach it. Boom. So that should be teaching it. Good. And we'll also do the longer duration one with the redstone because <laughs> why not? Um, yeah, weird. Okay. Um, so that'll work like that. What do we need for it again? We need 10 levels. Okay. We can do that. We can do it. Boom, boom. 10 levels. Excellent. Let's get this out of here. Put that in that. That's going to give us the night vision. Okay. Now, what's my hotkey for that? I do not know. I'll have to dark steel armor, night vision, N? Hmm. What else is N? What else is N? I'm going to get rid of it all. All right. So now I just want to get the respiration and stuff on this thing. So written book with three glass bottles and 40 levels. It's very expensive, but that's going to give us the respiration three. And that is eight levels. Okay, let's get eight more. No big deal there. Again, we're going to try to be as efficient as possible. Oops. 
Boom, eight levels exactly. Good. Let's get those done. Okay, boom, Aqua Infinity. Okay, now we just need to basically craft it all together. So we'll get out this guy and throw it in with Respiration. It's going to cost us six levels. Okay, put it all away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Boom, and Respiration. Six levels. Excellent. Okay, uh, this next one is going to be another three levels to get Aqua Affinity on it. One, two, three. Very nice. And voila. Respiration, Aqua Infinity, Night Vision on our helmet. Perfect. That's all we really needed to carry on completely. Because now we will be able to basically work all the time. So we're quite close to that monument, all things considered. We might have to kill off those guardians and whatnot pretty soon. But uh, that'll be not my problem at this point in time. Um, oh, I should have brought some sand as well, but that's fine. So let's get our glass out and just keep building our little tube. Oh, I can see so much better now, especially with the night vision. Oh, my. All right. Good. So we'll just kind of get this thing going up here. Our respiration is so much better as well, which is just perfect. There we go. We can actually craft somewhat decently. And if we're doing underwater stuff, you know what? This is all worth it anyways. Um, all of those levels that we just invested, completely worth it. Okay, so now we have a little tube going down the middle. That's, that's exactly what we want to see. Now let's work on the structure up above. So we're going to be building up these walls a little bit. Do I have a builder's wand or anything like that? Builder's wands. Oh, we have. Ooh. Okay. We have the better builder's wand mod. Okay. Might have to go and grab that as well. Um, okay. And we're just going to keep building this guy up. I also want to get some sort of magnetism. Is there some sort of magnet or anything like that that I can just throw on an armor or something? I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll just have to use the Ender IO electromagnet should be pretty easy for us to make. Um, anyways, I'm going to build this guy up. I should get a better builder's wand. Probably the diamond one for right now. And how tall do we want this to go? A little bit up for sure. Uh, we're also going to need to get uh, some carpenter blocks because this does need to become a round tube. Um, if that gives you any ideas. Hmm. <laughs> I'm slowly revealing a few more ideas. Now, this part that I'm building here is very much a nostalgia thing. It's it's one of those, okay, that's awesome. But it's still going to be completely usable, useful in getting down into our base. I hope you guys like all this. That's all I can say. I don't really know what else to say. I hope you like it. Um, so... The glass is obviously in place just so that we can see while we're going down into our base. Really? A really a potato? You think I care about your potato? I don't. All right, good. Um, so we got that. Should we? I'm just going to make this magnet. Yeah, I'm just going to make the magnet. Vibrant crystal, conductive iron, electrical steel. We have it all. So let's just do it, right? Four of you and vibrant crystals. Good. All right. So this should give us our electromagnet. Again, I've never actually used this magnet. So I have no clue if it's good, bad, you name it. Um, I guess we'll find out together, won't we? Uh, so 100,000, pretty straightforward. We do lose power at nighttime, but our solar panels kick in, which is quite nice. Uh, let's see. Pulls near item toward you. Shift right click to enable slash disable must be powered active and in the hot bar or bobbles slot to function okay i'm wondering how much power it uses oh and it continually uses it oh e yeah i don't know about that well we'll see it works for now i don't think there's the there's no batania or anything so i might scope out and see if there's any other options for magnets in the pack a little bit later on um so we have our bit of a tube here and i completely forgot the carpenter's blocks 
Have no fear. We got the carpenter's blocks. We're good to go now. Uh, there we go. Game. I was about to say. Game. All right. So we are going to be making this more tubular, if that makes sense. Uh, we might need to enhance it, but I think we'll be okay. Uh-huh. So I guess we'll just use the magnet when we absolutely have to. I guess that'll be a thing. I don't know. We'll see. Um, equally, we might need to expand down below as well. Uh, I guess, actually, how does this look? That doesn't look that great. Hmm. Well, well, we'll do it like this. You guys let me know what you think of how this looks with the water. Because the carpenter block cuts out the the whole block. I don't know if I like that. Okay, but anyways, there's our tube. I think that that... That's actually not bad. It's not bad. In w what I'm going off of, it's kind of a little bit square anyways. Um, or, you know, kind of Minecrafty square, if you know what I mean. Um, so let's... Oh, God. Do not misplace these. Whew. Holy cow. Okay. So we'll go out like this. And let's just see how we're going to accomplish all the things here so if we go like this we come out that will be overlapped like so okay like that is that going to do the job or do we need to come out further let's test it right on the side here so if we go like this yeah that's not bad it's not bad at all does anybody know what i'm building yet oh boy i hopefully some of you have probably already figured it out and I'm out of blocks. Well, well then. Some of you have probably already figured it out. Um, but, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you guys aren't thinking nostalgia enough. Something from my childhood. Oh, it's so wonderful. Uh, we might need to go another level higher on that. So, I'm going to get a decent amount of this. We're definitely going to be moving the transmutation stuff pretty much right away. Because... Yeah, it's kind of vital to this whole building process that we're doing here. So let's get a little bit more of this. This is wonderful, though. The fact that you can just shift right click and pull out these materials. And these are 153 uh, energy or EMC. So, you know, there's a decent amount of energy going into this. Uh, the glass is dirt cheap, though. It's only three. I mean, you can build some pretty cool things. And that's a lot of what this pack's about, is building cool-looking things. So keep that in mind. I've also completely forgotten to get the Builder's Wand uh, every time I've gone back. So we're just going to finish this without, uh, because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> eh, acrylic derp. All right, good. Okay, I'm going to finish this guy up, and then I'll tell you what it is. All right, so that'll do the job perfectly. There you go. If you don't know what this is, it's one of the green tubes from Mario World. That's right. Super Mario, it's a green tube. Now, what do you normally do in a green tube in Mario? Well, some of them, they're just green tubes and bad guys pop out of them. That's dangerous. But this time, this is one that you go in. Yeah, and we are actually going to go in to this tube. So... Let's look at the stuff that we need to pull that off. And it's really cool stuff. I've never seen this stuff. I've never seen it been used by anybody else. But then again, I don't get to watch too many people. I'm a pretty busy guy. Um, but I think it's going to be pretty darn awesome. Um, so I need to get a bit of sand just so that we can clear out all the water. That's the easiest way that we can do it in a single uh, file like that. Um, we're definitely going to need to look at getting some sponges and all that kind of stuff for building underwater. Some of the ins and pros and cons of building underneath the water and getting all that done. Um, but the other thing that we need is these guys right here. They are called viaducts. And they are from Thermal Dynamics. I've never seen these in a pack, though. I don't know if these were recently added or what. But they look awesome. They look amazing. Um, so, let's, let's give it a try. So, Viaduct. Transfers players. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what all do we need for this? We need Zephyrian Aerotheum. So, Aerotheum dust in a magma crucible. So, I think... Oh, we can't teach it Aerotheum. 
Oh, man. And we need saltpeter or niter, hey? Okay. Saltpeter or niter. Blitz rods. Okay, so we can get it right here with some sandstone uh, in the pulverizer. So let's do that. That'll work quite nicely. We can just do that. And we can always make more as we need it. So that'll give us the niter that we need. Um, we need sand, redstone, and blitz powder. Blitz powder. Do we have... We have blitz rods. Okay. So we have a blitz rod. Can we actually make... Is that learnable? Not learnable or exchangeable. But we can pull out the blitz rods themselves. And then we can just pulverize them up. That'll work just fine. That'll give us some of the niter that we need. And then we can make the aerotheum that we require. Then we need the viaduct untreated as well. So a lot of electrum and a lot of either A, fused quartz, or, you know, some other material. Uh, hardened glass, etc. So let's get these into alloy mode. Let's get a whole bunch of that started up. Uh, we'll throw down these and get more... EMC in our system and yeah other than that we're going to hold up wait for some of the stuff to come through and uh, start building these viaducts all right so I think I've got a couple things prepared we got the aerotheum dust boom that'll give us two stacks of that which is quite a bit but I don't know if it's actually enough and then I have a stack of the untreated viaducts we're getting pretty massive here with uh, things. Now, neither of these you can learn or exchange or anything like that, which is kind of a shame. That would be pretty darn cool if you ask me. It's weird that you can't do Aerotheum, but you can do Pyrotheum. And you can also do, I think you can even do the Cryotheum. Uh, no, you can't do the cryotheum, but you can do pyrotheum. So I guess it's just, you know, the different ways of getting things done. So we're going to get these viaducts in place. Now, before I make too many of these, I want to just take a quick second and I want to double check to make sure that they are exactly what I think they are. So, yeah, okay. So you right click on the one end to open it up. What? Game? Okay. There we go. Okay, so there's our open tube. Now, when you right-click on one side, very good. Okay, so that'll give us the location. So if I say this one, for example, boom. And boom, because there's only one way. Now, if we have another way. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Come on now. Come on now. Don't be difficult. How do you do this? Do not be difficult. I said don't be difficult. What Do we have to just do this? Oh, those are untreated. Silly me. That's why. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, let's get a couple more. It's no big deal. It's fine. We're just going to test this a little bit here. So we just need a couple more. So if we place down these like that and we tap on that. Now when we right click on an opening, there will be two locations. So there's that one. Back to that. And all the way to the end, etc. That is perfect. That is perfect. Now, I'm not sure how far you can actually go with these and how long until you need the long range viaducts which those are way cheaper <laughs> aren't they oh but are these okay okay so are these kind of like more like teleporter ones the long range maybe they shoot you between two i don't know but those seem a lot cheaper, don't they? Other than the fact that you need to get the linking viaduct with resonant ender. But still, that's not difficult to do. We'll, we'll play around with all of this anyways. So, um, let's get all of these crafted up. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, we're going to have fun with these. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Stop everything. Acrylic's excited. All right, good. I'm making a little bit of extra of everything just because I know we're going to need it. Um, probably pretty darn soon, to be honest. <laughs> but, oh well. 
we probably also should upgrade our pulverizer a little bit. Okay, so this is filling them up, the viaducts, with the items. Uh, once this is done, we'll head on back out to our Mario tube, and away we go. All right, so we're out on our tube, night vision enabled, away we go. Uh, so we have our viaducts. Now, hmm, yeah, I think we're just going to jump on down and start placing them. I think that's probably the best way to go. Now, I want to leave like a too high gap here, though. So let's place down two of these. Okay, and then, you know what? We'll probably have to come down and remove them after, won't we? Because that's just going to refill them. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to go all the way up with the viaducts. And we're going to have to, you know, manipulate it on the bottom side anyways. So we'll have to get back down there. Okay, so perfect. And this will then be the opening. So we're going to come in and zoom on down. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, this is fun. I don't, I don't care what anybody else has to say. I'm having fun with this. All right, so then over here, we're going to run into the age-old thing of we got all this silly, silly uh, stuff here. Um, let's see. This is where things get a little bit more difficult, to say the least, when it comes to building underwater. Okay, good. Uh, let's just do this and this. Get in there. Okay, so that's open. Good. And we can open up that. Awesome. Okay. Now, I want to... We need to place back down the glass. I'm so going to, like, all of a sudden be like, Oh, look at this. I'm dying. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so that should have that should have fixed it, right? I think we're good to go. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's give our tube a try. If this is all we accomplished today, I'm set. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. This is perfect. <laughs> All right, that is exactly what I wanted to see. I am so happy about it. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's the start of us building our base. And boom, right back up to surface. Oh, beautiful. I'm so happy about this. You guys have no idea. Thank you so much for watching. I know we're quite long on this episode. I really do appreciate all of you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. Viaducts. Oh, I'm so happy. We need these in Sky Factory. We need these in everything. These are amazing. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.